Can we make hot cocoa? Mm, yes. Yeah, do you guys like the hot cocoa recipe? Mm -hmm. We're watching like? Army Navy. We're watching Army Navy, so it's a good tailgating Wait, thing. wait. What? <laughs> what? Responsibly, socially distanced tailgating food. There you go. It doesn't seem super appropriate for Florida weather, but that's okay. Should we make some? And one football yeah. game, it was snowy on your field. It was. Are you going to my camera, girl? Almond milk. All right, so almond milk for every and a can. for every cup of almond milk, we do one tablespoon of unsweetened, and it, the almond milk is vanilla unsweetened. So for every cup, we do super simple one tablespoon of cocoa powder. We have five. same amount of serve. So granular serve, five tablespoons. One of granular serve. Now we could, there are hot cocoa rest, um, mixes out there, um, however they have a ton of ingredients and that scares me. Too many variables, so we make our own. Super simple. And then we whisk it, and then we put Why it in pretty cups. Use, could you use the, mm. the, the one besides the granula? You know, I bet you could use the powdered swerve. Yeah, absolutely. How long do you do it on stove? Um, until it's not until it boils, <laughs> just because then you have to wait a really long time for your hot cocoa. But until it's hot, super simple. All right, there we go. And still watching. Still watching the ball. So it's been on for like an hour. So what do you like? So what I like about this is it's not overly sweet, it has a good cocoa flavor, and it has a nice little nutty flavor from the almond milk. And um, Wait, you said, the back rows are really you, low. You should only do and once in a sentence. That's true, I should only do and once in a sentence. I have to collect everyone in the house several times. On a Besides grammar. maple. Besides maple, yeah, I've tried to correct that dog. Alright. Good evening and welcome to Rogue Diabetes. Tonight we want to talk to you real quick about what we're doing for stocking stuffers for the kids. This is the first year uh, with diabetes. We've really been thoughtful and Trish has put a lot of extra extra work into what we're going to put in there and the intentionality behind it. So without further ado, I'm going to take the camera and let Trish explain this to you. <laughs> it's so difficult. All right, so stockings. Um, I think can be a real pitfall and people just don't know. We've gotten a lot of questions about like, what do you put in stockings? Um, and I think it just takes a little bit more thought instead of doing the default, you know, food, candy. Um, we really just tried to fill the kids' stockings with things that interest them and um, focusing more on like things. So the kids are really into crafts. <laughs> um, I can't get things to the recycling bin fast enough. They will turn everything into, a, they're really good at repurposing, I'll say that. So um, we have a ton of craft stuff that we're gonna put in there. Um, these little glitter dots. And this is just an example of, you know, what are the kids really gonna enjoy? They're gonna freak out over popsicle sticks and why not take advantage of that for as long as we can, right? Um, we have like bike lights, um, lots of bike lights, more craft stuff, crafting glue. Kids are, or, Fia is super easy because um, we can always do like pretty little hair clips and fingernail polish. Um, and again, oh, duct tape. <laughs> so many oh, stories. the rolls of duct tape. So many stories. And you never have it when you need it because <laughs> it's been used everywhere else. Yes, everywhere else. Chapsticks and nail files, more glue. Um, so we, oh, Sean, this is for you. Are you going to still act surprised? Of course. Okay, perfect. Um, seasonings. Oh, um, talk about those seasonings because yeah, evil. Yeah, so I'm super hesitant um, to like do any brand names, certainly not endorsing any products. Um, our hesitation is companies can change ingredients in their products anytime, so we would never want to mislead anybody. Any, um, but these AIP Paleo powders, pre-mixed ones, are really nice. Um, the ingredients are all good. Um, no preservatives. And Abel loves them. Um, so, Sean, you're getting <laughs> inside your stocking. Yay, Sorry. me! <laughs> um, I'm in! 
We finally found some, I made this quickly, we finally found some zero sugar beef um, turkey sticks that we're gonna give a try. Uh, it's really hard to find beef jerky with it doesn't have any sugar. Um, book light. Uh, so there are two. Oh, do you want to do? Check these out. These are so cool. And then the Duke Cannon. Grown up um, soap and solid cologne. Um, they're going to be really excited because they can be like daddy. Um, they're not going to miss anything else in their stocking. These beautiful stockings by grandma, by the way. Um, okay, there are two food items though that we are putting in there. Um, the kiddos, especially Abel, love the salted roasted pecans. Um, and then Lily's chocolate. We don't, we don't do very much, um, store-bought, like, treats at all. Um, but the Lily's chocolate, because we stay so low-carb, um, the kids can have, like, a square or two with a meal. Um, I was always jealous of people who were like, oh, you know, something really, you know, indulgent is a square of dark chocolate. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, that would be amazing. And we're turning into those people. <laughs> which is awesome um so the kids like honestly are satisfied with like a square or two um and it fits in the r insulin covers it just fine it's not a problem um so they will lose their minds having a full bar for themselves okay finally the cons um we just have to be really aware of keeping it to one serving um, and again, we keep it with a meal and the R insulin covers the carbs in there just fine. Um, we do have a food scale and I'm sure we'll um, talk about that more. It's, you know, it's everyone, everything, everyone should be aware of portion control. Um, and that's just something that you have to do with the nuts, but it loves the pecans, the macros are good in them. And we just have to recalibrate his and Sean's. Why am I getting drug into this? <laughs> Here, hold on. It's the guilty party here. Let me switch. Um, we have to keep his. I feel like I need eye, a dunce hat. I calibrated because Sean, Sean and Abel's eye get a little bit off. So we use a food scale to keep ourselves Wait. honest. So um, 28 also, grams is one serving. Yeah. And we know that with the pecans, it's the planter's brand. It's pretty. It's been pretty even across different types of pecans we've used. Mm -hmm. uh, Nuts.com is another place that we have found uh, to get great bulk. Uh, nuts, um, but 28 grams is one serving and no more than that. We, I will make one comment on these. The pecans and the loose chocolate, they will be tightly controlled. They will not stay in the kids' own possession. They will go up in Although the cupboard. Although the kids do a really good they job. They do a great yeah. job. Trish has been very good about delayed gratification. Uh, gratification. Delayed gratification. <laughs> Big words. Sat words are hard. <laughs> delayed gratification with the kids. But also uh, But we will, we will not yeah. let the temptation be there. So yeah. we will help with that and we'll put these in the fridge and up in the cabinet and they will be able to ask for them and know that they can have them with meals. So yep. uh, that is what we have done this year with the stockings. We try to make it different and still fun. Um, I still can't believe how much stuff can fit in a stocking. <laughs> Close my mind. I don't know how Santa could even get through our chimney. Stop. The stockings would club him. <laughs> the unconscious. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, I don't so have anything else to really say about that. So, <clears throat> so we hope this helps. Just a different idea of what we've come up with this year um, for things to put in stockings and still have a magical Christmas feeling for the kids and where they don't feel like they're missing out. Because honestly, as you can attest, you can put way more in there and make it a really fun experience for them. So God bless y'all. Have a Merry Christmas. Through the snow and one horse opens his leg, or the fields we go, laughing all the way. <laughs> Bells on black will ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to ride and sing a slang song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, shingle bells, shingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride and one horse up and say, Hey, jingle bells, shingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun